<laughs> enough about lefties. I don't know if any of these gentlemen are, but, you know, we're going the right way. Cohen straight to Smashville. No surprise there. Not in the slightest. We have three Mario Brothers and a Mega Man. Going to be getting into it. And Raji is, a, is an extremely accomplished doubles player. And I know him and uh, Ewok, I mean, they come to the same weeklies all the time. I don't think they've ever really had the chance to team with each other at the gamers' events. Uh, but I do really have confidence in their ability to at least at least make a decent dent in this bracket, as they already have to make it this far. Fremont's finest, of course, with their incredible punish game and synergy. The legendary Smurf, who literally only plays Smash 4 doubles, never played a game of singles in his life. Godlike support. I don't know how he does it, but I mean, you, it's already being put on display. Wait, Ewok, excuse me? Ewok he, has he just learned. hit the side V right there, didn't even wait, hoping for a misfire possibly, but that Luigi mains. He's, he's studied at the, at the Book of Elegant, you know? He understands. Dang. I mean, he is our number zero. It's no surprise there. Mm -hmm. uh, Ewok just looking at what it takes. That back air, though, ending up taking out Smurf's teammate. But, yeah, Prodigy makes it back on stage so far. Okay, but... Uh, a smash I, isn't going to do it. Uh, you know, look at this. And Mega Man only sitting at 55% now. Not enough rage. And I love those jabs immediately after that forward throw to make sure the Luis could not follow up. Yeah, and that's the thing that's going to be really interesting. Like you said, Smurf at such low percent compared to the blue team right now. And that's where Smurf's assist really comes into play is because he's still good at really avoiding damage oh my goodness. as he makes the 2v1s as hard as possible to happen. Oh, the forward throw not helping out Ewok this time around. Doing it a little too early, and Luis is ready for it. It's up waiting. Yeah, and not only does he end up waiting, but because he's right next to Smurf, he sticks that bomb right onto Smurf, and the moment he drops shield, he still takes damage from it. Ooh, unfortunate. That's smash hitting his teammate instead. But look at this. Luis is sitting at 113% as well as his teammate Smurf. So one good hit will take away either of their stocks. Right now, Ewok gets uh, Luis off stage. The double up smash coming in. Prodigy. Prodigy, our boy, new on the 14 on the PR, even though he is he is younger than his rank, right? <laughs> at a 13 years old at number 14. I'm going to be upset because he might be able to go ahead and get his own age. Oh, and Ooh. that's going to be at the Cyclone coming and taking away Luis's stock. And just like that, you know what? I regret not putting money on sack. You know, I always do. Right now in a fantastic position, blue team having... Uh, essentially a stock and a half lead given the percent that's on Prodigy right now. Can, can we just talk about these team conversions that Prodigy and Ewok are getting? Prodigy continuously getting all these guys, just tossing them straight to Ewok, whether it be a Nair, whether it be a backer, getting on any type of percent that is guaranteed. And the thing that's really scary is when he touches, tosses to Ewok and it's off stage, right? Then Ewok just hits them with that plunger, that down B, and it's that's it for their stock. Oh, the plunger coming up there, almost taking away the stock off the top. Not gonna end up finding it though. Ewok tries to go in on Smurf. Smurf now off stage. Force uses up the early. The up, up smash though gonna go right through that leaf shield. I don't think that's gonna help Smurf at all land in this matchup because he has to deal with both Mario Brothers up smashes. Definitely not gonna help out. I love it. And I love the attempt right there with the side V trying to get something in there. I like the forward throw too. Prodigy unable to find anything to convert on it off of. And meanwhile, we have. Both members of blue team finally on their last stocks. Members of red team one hit away each from dying. They're going to need to find a way to get pr preferably a little bit more damage on Prodigy to take him out so they can get a 2v1 going on Luigi. I mean, look, we're, we're going to get up smash galore, or we're just going to get a back air instead. Good stuff from Ewok taking that one away, throwing it straight down, and look at that. Up smash, like I said. So much up smash pressure, man. I mean, that's not surprising. Because, like, that's why why push another button? It's, <laughs> it's safe and space correctly. Yeah. It comes out quick. And it kills. Yeah, you're, that's everything you need in a kill move. You're, you're not going to be at a, like at those percents. You're not going to be at risk of dying for whiffing that. Yeah. You're, you're am I going to jab? No. Yeah. Am I going to grab a Mario? I don't have a kill throw unless I'm at the ledge. Meanwhile, you toss out those up smashes. At the moment that they hit your teammate, well, I'll just up smash. Are you trying to air dodge? You're trying to jump? Oh no! No no! Put up that shield. No. Let me make it a skittle real quick. I'm trying to go to the factory. Where's Willy Wonka? Here we go, well, game two. We don't know where Willy Wonka is, but uh, Prodigy and Ewok are working on their golden ticket right we, now. We gotta hit up Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm angry. <laughs> I am angry. <laughs> it's all good, but here we go, game two. <laughs> Running it straight back to Smashville, no surprise there. Was a pretty, you know, evenish game. It really just came down to blue team taking advantage of the opportunities that came to them. Yeah. As we saw earlier, Ewok ends up sniping the recovery of Luis with the Cyclone. And from that, 
there was one mishap between Smurf taking out Luis's stocks well with that back air. So if they're able to clean up a couple of those mistakes, they should be in a good oh! position. But okay, nope, yeah, Mega Man. Man's Mega Man. Yeah, he's gonna have enough lift on his up B and plus finds the up tilt to take out Prodigy stock. But I mean, immediately afterwards, the other Mario falls on the red team. Oh my God, the jabs and Luis already sitting at 29 percent. Okay, Ewok. He looks impressing me right now. Yeah. This man has been leveling up. Is this a sack level up? Is this what happens when you go to Sacramento? Yes. Yeah, 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 of course. I mean, he's actually been really serious about stepping up his game, both mentally and in terms of the game theory itself. Uh, I had a really long conversation with him about theory about, like, a week ago. He's been, like, hitting up all sorts of book resources, all sorts of coaching as well from, like, ConCon Con and stuff. So he's, he's hitting the whole spectrum, and it's really showing. So all I heard from that is that he's here, baby. Yeah, he's, he's here, baby. It's good to know. It's good to know. All right, like the downer coming out from Prodigy, got Smurf right off of him and landed with the up smash to take away Luis's stock. All uh, right there, uh, Ewok assuming that uh, Smurf would give in to an air dodge, and since Smurf finds his way just straight back with a double jump. Really? The key thing for Blue Team right now is the fact that they are just allowing Smurf to do what he does, play a godlike support role. Mm -hmm. But when he is hit off, they're going immediately to the least. They're putting on the percent that they know they can get, and making sure that, you know, when it comes onto it, let's get another share stock. Let's put you in a position where, yo, Luis, you can go ahead and stock tank all you want, but if your teammate is getting messed up, that's not going to change anything. Right, exactly. At the end of the day, it's the concept of we need to take six stocks. They don't necessarily have to be split 3-3. Three, three. You just need to take six stocks somewhere. Ooh, that was supposed to be a runoff there, if I'm not mistaken. They're getting a dash attack instead, and the up tilts are still going to get hit by all of these names. The up smash, a beautiful answer from Luis. There we go, finding ourselves a back air, but Ewok finds himself back to the smash roll platform. And once again, with the, throughout the entire game, we've had even stocks and percent. Uh, it might not have been distributed the same way across both teams, but once again, we find ourselves three stocks, but one stock essentially half dead. I'm like a little upset at you, Walker. I don't know if you caught that, but he was just dash dancing on the platform for a little bit. <gasps> oh, that's a pretty safe strike, but Mega Man's recovery, very good. Gonna be able to get right back to the top. That's really coming in clutch for Red Team right now, is the fact that at least one member of their team can't really be gimped as easily by Ewok as the other one. Oh! That's a smash, that should be the stock. And I love that sequence right there coming off from the red team. Ewok was basically in disadvantage. He did not touch the floor for a straight minute. That whole stock was him just trying to get back and found no room. Mm -hmm. And they were really taking advantage of the weakness that... Yeah, uh, jump is going to be saved. He's going to be fine. Back throw actually might take the stock here. It should. It is smash throw. We're going to have ourselves 1-1 one, one, though. Prodigy at 70%. And you see the way the red team is moving, right? They're trying to slowly tr uh, box in Prodigy if they can. In the meantime, though, they're happy to whittle down the extra bit of damage they can get on Ewok. Yeah, but Ewok ends up getting him a grab on to Smurf. Actually got a lot of percent on him now, sitting at 85. Those are right back off stage with the up airs. The aerials still putting on even more percent right after that. And unfortunate stuff right there. The back are not going to connect. Yeah, they've had a little bit of trouble actually following through. Oh, oh my oh, god! That's going to be with the neutral air! And oh. that's going to be it! Here we go, 1v1 situation. We got Luis, number four on the NorCal PR versus Ewok, a beloved Luigi from Sacramento, but not on any PR. It's okay, he we has the fireball. Will the brothers, this is the brother's fat right now. How is this going to go? I, it always goes It always goes excitingly, one way or the other. Like, we saw the championship, uh -oh. here we go. Back there, not going to do it. Setting up another edge guard, getting that flood ready to go. Uh, no, no tech, and that was actually a really bad cyclone. Right in front of Luis, you cannot go ahead and do that. Yeah. He was even in range to just go straight for the up B, and I'm yeah. surprised they even went to for that. Yeah, it was a surprising choice as well. I thought he was going to go straight for the up B. Uh, going for that cyclone actually gave Luis the time to react to the cyclone. Well, additionally, his jump was even there. His, oh, yeah, his jump. He had, yeah, he had a jump too. Like, he had a multitude of options. I didn't even realize his jump. Oh, yeah, because he was thrown off the stage. Yeah, yeah he still exactly. had his jump. Yeah. Uh, down B, perhaps... I can understand wanting to save your jump uh, in that yeah. sense, in case they, they get the first edge guard off, and then you can still have your jump to make it back for a second attempt. Well, if you're trying to delay it, then you would use the Cyclone way off stage, yes. where you would just kind of float, kind of like DK's recovery when he uses his upbeat. Yeah, yeah. just, you know, glide across closer to the stage, then hope you can go ahead and go low with the jumping upbeat. Mm -hmm. But hey, nonetheless, we're going into game three right now, straight back to Smashville. 1 1 is this set. Will Sacramento be able to pull off this upset, or the Fremont's fine? It's just clutching it. Right now, we do have quite an even start to the game. Blue team, though, shoved to the corner of Smashville, but they do get the sandwich off on red team a little bit. Ooh, Smurf actually going to dunk his teammate instead. Uh, 
basically even as presents and as I say that the backer just gonna take it away meanwhile getting caught in a dangerous position yeah that was actually really unfortunate because Prodigy had hit Smurf off stage while Ewok was recovering from that same position so Smurf just rolled off that momentum and got that back air <laughs> but then immediately rise that momentum of the down throw to forward air and Luis himself dying as well to Ewok Oh, I like that wait from Luis. That was gonna be dangerous for Prodigy actually just making himself known and just distracted Luis enough to where Prodigy wasn't gonna take anything. Or Iwa was gonna take anything. Right, exactly. And then Iwa didn't have to commit to any sort of option as he was dropping down to that ledge. Similar situation, Blue Team, I think right now, they're focusing on trying to stay closer together because they recognize near the end of that last game, and we've seen it a little bit this game too, when they do get their uh, 2v1 stuff going, it can really be hot, but they need to be closer together to really get it going consistently. Ooh, that was actually a really good cycle, but unfortunately getting hit by the forward smash of his teammate and another back air from Smurf. There was no jump for Ewok, he was hot in no man's land. Yeah, yeah, the only option was air dodging, but then at that point, I don't think his up B is going to reach. All right, one stock deficit for the blue team, and red team is kind of just taking this one away. Uh, they're being very opportunistic, like the blue team as they were in that game one. Mm. Uh, Smurf is the benefactor of that. Found himself two back airs onto Ewok. Oh, uh, right now we have uh, Ewok landing in with an unsafe nair, but Prodigy immediately behind his teammate to take advantage of Luis's punish. Oh, back throw for back throw. We got a couple yeets coming out, so you need. It's a scary thing though, Ewok again being shoved close to the stage and we see Smurf ready to go the moment that that actually does come together. Another back air and that's going to take away the stop. Three for three with those back airs. That's going to be the number one thing if Red Team does win this game. That is going to be their MVP uh, play. That's all of Ewok's stocks with that too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like Now he had, he had to take a loan off from Prodigy. And that, I mean, that being said though, if they can find uh, another early spike and a way to deal with Smurfs, 117% stock, you know, they can put themselves back into this game very immediately. Oh, he ended up shielding and actually helping out Smurf with that situation. Unfortunate stuff. I would have liked to see some more jabs come out uh, from Ewok there instead of just putting up that shield. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit. But here we go, Fremont's Finest trying to do what they do best. They are just going to try to run up in there, get themselves a grab, and, you know, trying to show off their combo game. Where, where things get really nasty, and that's exactly what happens, is Fremont's Finest, when they're in the 2v1, they want to specifically put both members of their team on opposite sides of the one surviving player. But the up B, not going to have enough air drift for him to go ahead and grab that ledge. Yeah. That's going to be the set. 2-1 for Luis and Smurf, and I probably should have put some money on there. No, no, it was, it was good that we it did it. It was close, it was close. It was very it was good close. that we, we, we chose not to. We chose